Well, Saint Andana, police have explained that preparations are in place, but a lot of community members are making plans as well. Dozens of people who gathered at Penn in North tonight say that they're focused on spreading peace and unity. Clergy, city leaders, and police officers stood shoulder to shoulder with neighbors at Penn and North Tuesday night, just steps from the CVS store that was looted and burned during the unrest in April. They're linked by a shared disappointment over what happened and a hope that it won't happen again. We're just trying to get together and, and pray for our beautiful city, but that's pretty much it. Earlier in the day, Police Commissioner Kevin Davis and Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake toured Mondaman Mall, where looters knocked out windows and clashed with police. Davis said the department has made extraordinary preparations since last spring. We've implemented the training and the equipment, the incident command system, best practices. We now have significant experience under our belt, and all those things are very, very important, but they really mean nothing without a better relationship with the community. Commissioner Davis confirmed that law enforcement agencies from across the state are in Baltimore to assist this week out of an abundance of caution. Anne Arundel County officers gathered in Druid Hill Park Tuesday afternoon, and the department canceled all scheduled leave for officers through Friday. You live through April, you've got a little bit of anxiety about what's happening. Mike Evitt from Downtown Partnership says there are still businesses recovering from damage and losses in April. He says business owners are monitoring the situation closely, but he also warns against what he calls overreaction. It's unfortunate that some school systems are, are um, cautious about bringing their kids into the city. It's regrettable, I mean, especially since nothing's happened. Um, you know, I, I, think if, I think you want to, I think every business downtown is, is, is taking this, uh, an attitude of we'll respond as this situation's warrant, and hopefully, you know, we won't need to be too worried about anything. And so schools in Harford, Howard, and Baltimore counties have canceled all field trips into Baltimore City this week. And the Baltimore City School CEO sent a letter home to parents saying that any student participating in walkouts or vandalism will face consequences. We're live at Police City Headquarters, City Police Headquarters tonight. Excuse me, Kai Reed, WBAL TV 11 News. All right, Kai, thank you. And stay with 11 News for the latest in the jury deliberations and the trial of Officer William Porter. We'll keep you updated on questions from the jury and bring you the verdict when it's announced. And make sure to download. Our mobile app and turn the notifications on. We'll send you push alerts with updates. You can also read court documents and find information about the trial proceedings.